Good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Hi, Noemi, good evening. All right, guys, I guess your classmates are going to get connected a little bit late. So, well, uh, it's time to start. Just give me a second. I just need to send a text message to your classmates. All right, so... Let's start, guys. Uh, let me see. Carmen Eugenia is not here. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Person. Okay, great. So, Daniel Person? is not okay. here. All right. Uh, Daisy Maricela is not here yet. Uh, Elwin Alexander either. Elwin Vladimir, Estela Mabel, Fátima Adriana, Fátima Lourdes, who's like not here. All right, so Jaime Antonio, it's not really here as well. Uh, Carla Lisette, Rasa, she's not here. Uh, Kenya Cecilia. Present. Uh, it was right on time. Uh, let me see, Lorena Beatriz, all right, so she's not here. Manuel Antonio, all right, not here. Maria Gabriela, all right, so she's not here. Let me see, who else? Uh, Noemi Betsabe, yeah, she's here. Okay, great. Uh, and the last one, Osbin Alexis, which is he, not here yet. All right, guys. So we are going to start uh, right with this class. Tonight, we are going to be discussing uh, one of the last topics, basically, right? Uh, it's like the one previous to the last topic. Uh, and uh, as you know, guys, we have been discussing about inventory management. And tonight, it's not going to be like the exaction. Why isn't it going to be the exaction? Because tonight, what we are going to do is just to be talking about how to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. So in this case, we are going to be discussing about, you know, like the product counting in a warehouse. And also we're going to be like uh, discussing a couple of, uh, you know, like questions as we have been doing in the past. we got a conversation to be practicing on as well. And um, after all that, we're going to be discussing a little bit about what is uh, a suffix or what are suffixes, right? Uh, which is part of a, a like calendar agenda that we have over here so so that's like the most relevant that we are going to be discussing tonight so let's start with that guys and i suggest you guys to go to your manual specifically to page 37 okay that's the page that we're going to be working on tonight page 37 Right, but before starting with that, guys, I would like to make a short, you know, like a uh, summary or review about what we were doing yesterday. So let's remember that yesterday we, we had a lot of, uh, you know, practice activities in which you were discussing with your classmates, 
right? So I would like uh, to bring up what you guys were doing. So can somebody tell me, guys, what do you remember from last class? What was the most relevant um, activities that you remember that we were doing? So I'm all here, guys. What were we discussing yesterday, guys? Guys, don't don't turn on don't turn off your cameras and microphones and let's participate. This is like prior to the last class. So Christian, were you about oh. to say something? Yes, yeah, uh, we're discussing about the right amount of uh, an inventory uh -huh. to okay. to stock, and also uh, what is the right price for for a products or uh -huh. for the inventory. Okay, very good, very good. So we were discussing about that, right? Okay, excellent. Thank you, Mister. So, guys, what else do you remember? Besides that, what else were we doing last class? Can somebody remember? The ones who were in the class, and I'm talking about Kenya. I'm talking about uh, who else was in the class? What happened to Lorena? She left. All right, Kenya, you, since you were like the only one yesterday, what do you remember from yesterday's class? Or at least what were you doing with your classmates? Hi, teacher. Hi. Well, we talk about the... Uh -huh. The um, we we reviewed the conversation uh -huh. and answered some question about mm -hmm. the, I don't know no, about the the inventory because George had George have problems with the the logistic or with the order in uh -huh. the warehouse. Yes. Uh -huh. And we talk about the what have to do yours, and we bring advice. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That good. was the last part of the class. Ah, okay, great. In which you were basically suggesting, right? Okay, a couple of more options to uh, Jorge in this case. All right, uh, with the inventory management, right? The issues that uh, it was showing in the presentation. All right, great. So as I said, guys, we're gonna be working in the next page. Um, let me see, 37, I think it was, let me see. Yeah, page 37, I'm gonna project it in here, so. We can watch it. All right, guys, it's this one over here. So I got it here. Okay, and as I said, guys, we're gonna be discussing about how to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program, right? So that's going to be the whole class focused about tonight. And, you know, like, um, since, uh, we got very few people getting connected since we got very people that uh, don't really want to participate, like going straight uh, onto the class. Uh, I had taken the decision of uh, uh, this kind of questions to be sent with you guys to the breakout rooms because it's like in an easier way um, of uh, making you speak more, all right? probably in here like you feel like you are not like really up to to be speaking that much but i think you got more confident 
when you are working with your classmates. So before I starting with this short activity prior to the main topic, I would like to know guys who's active, who's really active in the class and wants to participate. Um, luckily I just see only two people as listener tonight. So Fatima Lourdes, uh, are you working? Because oh, I see you got a, a, a oyente screen, so you cannot participate, I guess. Fatima? Okay, I guess she's working because uh, uh, she is not answering. All right, Noemi and Daniel, now you can participate, right? Yes, of course. I will participate more late because I am using it. Ah, okay, okay. I am in your prior uh, road that, okay. Let me see. I'm sorry teacher but in this moment I am working you're also working all right uh, yes. what a, okay great I just got three people then all right let me see all right so I just got Kenya Christian Daisy let's just uh, just turn on the camera and uh, Elwin okay great so I just got two participants okay no problem, guys. We're going to make it with you while uh, they're finished their job. So what are we going to do? We're going to be basically doing the same thing that we have been doing in the past with the previous pages, guys. We're going to start over with this, and then we're going to make uh, other activities with the conversation that we got there. And then we're going to uh, go over a grammar explanation, right? That is in the next page. But now we're going to discuss these two questions that we got over here, guys. The first question, it says, how do companies keep their inventory count accurate? Basically in here, this is focused on what? It's focused on the product that in this case, companies have in the warehouse, right? And then it says, how often should a warehouse keep count of their inventories. All right, I would like you guys to discuss these two questions and then you're gonna give me your opinions about what you think on this when we come back from the main you know, breakout rooms. So I'm gonna stop sharing in here. Let's discuss these two questions for a while. And in that way, we are going to be, you know, like practicing each other. Let me see guys. Carla, you there? Hello, good evening. Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. Great, Carla. Let me see. Okay, nice. Let me see who else just got connected. All right, only these people. All right, guys, let's go and uh, make a short practice with this. Okay, then when we, when we come back in here, we're gonna continue with the other activities. Let's open up, guys, the breakout rooms. And I'm gonna send these people throughout here. Let me see. One. There you go. Calculate the right amount of inventory to a stock. Um, come, come, I don't know. 
Well, I think that uh, they should use a machine, I guess, like um, barcode. A barcode, mm -hmm. I guess, like scanning each code. It create the first create the the barcode. What? First, eh, they create the barcode. Oh yes, uh huh. And mm -hmm. I guess the employees. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. got uh, a training. Got tra they they got a training for ensure that um, they have to follow the the inventory in any process correctly. I guess it's like uh, they have to make a record of every product. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, uh, this question we can answer uh, using uh, the vocabulary that we are practicing yesterday. For example, we have to calculate the first in and first house or, or home inventory, because in that way, uh, we will know uh, the right amount of product that we have uh, in in our event programs where they can see what they have to do and they have it all organized so in that way maybe they can ensure the accuracy i think it is or uh, maybe what do you what do you think oh my god Yes, I agree with you. Um, well, <laughs> maybe they they have to do cyclical accounts, cyclic accounts. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have to to review how many inventory they have every month or every yeah. weekend. Yeah. Yes, and compare how many they have in the system and with respect to the physical inventory. Oh yeah, that's true. They have to check everything, right? Yes, they have to check and they have to register all the transactions. Oh, yeah. Yes, because if they don't register in the system, they they could find more inventory in physical that that they have in the systems. Yes, that's true. And they have to be sure what they have or how many they have, right? So that's why they have to register everything so yes yes that's basically right then how often should a warehouse keep count on their inventory mm, well, mm, for maybe. me uh, and, think... Unless one signs a month. Yes. And maybe it is better to do it like at the end of the week, like uh, in the weekends. But if it's not, maybe they can do it once, uh, once a month, maybe. But it, I think it's better for them to do it like every week because... <laughs> I mean, if they do it in a month, it would be like a lot, maybe a lot to count. 
but if they do it like in a week, it could be less, less to count. Um, yes. Yes, could be one yeah. time a week. Or maybe it could, it could depend on in every uh, like yes, company. Yes, because maybe in a week, but not all the inventory. Mm -hmm. Only if if mm -hmm. the inventory is big. So the next question is: um, How often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? Hmm. Con qué frecuencia? Mm -hmm. How often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, what I depend. think in this place is, is uh, yeah, it depends that the uh, the market uh, that they supply, for example, the the suppliers or the retailers that they sell the products or they they get the product from them because uh, they in that in that way they will know what produce. Uh, and uh, maybe the, the the amount that they need to produce because if they produce more than what they is, they they are expecting maybe they could uh, waste money and time and and how do you say recursos supplies resource Resource. 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 Okay. Well, it's like you say, I think is for, it depends on the demand of the seasons or the, the retailer, if they need a lot of products. Uh, also the company have to how to count uh, the amount of your inventory because they they need to know that if they if they if they have to buy more products or not yeah and also i think that well i i don't know but they i i think that they uh They they make a a recount in in annual, I guess, or in, in the half, I guess, because I don't think if I don't know how I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Teacher, help you. Yeah, tell me that in Spanish and probably I will help you out, brother. Mm -hmm. Es que yo supongo que las empresas tienen que hacer un como reconteo anual o, o a la mitad del año, mm -hmm. porque no creo que solo dependan de las ventas, pues ellos tienen que tener su contabilidad aparte de las ventas. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, like, you think that Besides the sales, they had to be the accounting section differently or separated from, from, from sales. That's right. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, all right. Ah. Rest, think about that. Cool. Uh, we uh, we just have to. In conclusion, it depends of many factors and type of company, uh, type of product, season. I think. Mm, okay. Okay. Good. Good.
reaffirm among you guys what you were saying and I'm gonna go and check the other group so I guess they have already finished as well so then we're gonna go back okay and I want to listen okay. what okay. everything done guys you finished Yes, teacher. Okay, great. It's yeah. only the part number one, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only the questions. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes, we finished. Okay, perfect. I want to listen to what you were discussing, but in the main session. Okay, let's see you there. Okay. Nice. See you. All right, guys, so let's just start over. And I'm going to start with Daisy. You're the first one on my screen, Daisy. What were you discussing, Daisy, with your classmates? I'm going to project the manual. Uh, but the first question, uh, Daisy, what were you and your classmates discussing about that? You can give your opinion, and then your classmates can share more opinions, OK? Daisy, do you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. I thought you were not listening. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Uh, read the question. <laughs> yeah, read the question and then tell me what you and your classmates were discussing. Just tell me a little bit and then one of your classmates can continue with the same question. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. How, how do companies keep their inventory count accurate? All right. Uh, Elwin, how the answer? Okay, Elwin, so you got the answer. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's> true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. What as what I was trying to uh, under well, sorry, what I understood uh, about this question is uh, some companies uh, they have to check uh, their fears in and peers out production or inventory. In that case, they will have a, the right a inventory account accurate. accurate. Uh -huh. uh, we put a, an example, the Le Constancia, mm -hmm. uh, because they are, they are uh, producing a, a lot of, uh, how do you say, bebida, bear. beverages? Beverages, so uh, they have to check uh, maybe, uh, or they have a team or a, a, spe a specific personnel that they do that. Uh, and what is uh, counting the, the sales mm -hmm. that they, they have for, I don't know, for week or per day or even for month. In that case, uh, they will, have the right knowledge to say uh, that and, and say that we need to uh, this or we need to uh, we have to sell more uh, from this beverage uh, that, um, I, I got stuck <laughs> sorry <laughs> so uh, <laughs> help me up with this Okay, who was working with you besides besides uh, Daisy? Me, me, me. Chris. Okay, okay. 
try to help him, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the first question, like my partner say, uh, I think that we we can take in account or uh, we can take in account the seasons because it depends of uh if they have a, a demand of for in in a product mm -hmm. maybe we need we we can know the amount of our inventory mm -hmm. also i think they have a like a system with mm -hmm. a bar a barcode maybe that they cannot exactly what, how many products they have in your stock. And I guess that employees have a training to, to, to make a record of each product uh, that could have. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, very good. Yeah, I man, in that case, they, they might have a record on that then, right? And of course, the employees might be trained, right, to manage uh, a system like that. Okay, good. Thank you for your participation, guys. Now, what about you, Kenny and Carla? From the same question, how do companies keep their inventory account, you know, account accurate? What were you discussing? Or what were you sharing, basically? Well, and first point, the company have to have a system mm -hmm. when they release all the transaction of inventory mm -hmm. because they can know how many inventories going out or what inventory enter with the with the purchase. And another thing is having accountants for cyclicals for the inventories. Mm -hmm. accounts like how do you say conteo cyclicals yes account cyclicals uh -huh. yes ah, okay. um will be in a week or depending on how many inventory have the company ah, okay good might be in a week or, or maybe once a month right depending or it might be every day okay good good thank you kenya carla what else can you add in there? Uh, yeah, I think that for like for them to have a like a good precision and accuracy in their accounts, mm -hmm. is that maybe they do the accounts uh, like a little often to make it like easier for them, and so that they don't have uh, like as much margin of error mm -hmm. uh, in some calculation. And also that all the action, as Kenya said, that I'll carry out, like, uh, they has to be, like, recorded. For example, if any product comes out or how much product was sold or how much has entered, etc., so that at the time of making the calculations, they are more, like, exact, maybe. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Good, good. Actually, thank you. Thank you. Now... What about the second question, guys? How often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? Daisy, Elwin, and Christian, how often do you think, guys, a warehouse should keep count of their inventory? With how, how frequent? Um, I think, well, we think that it depends on the seasons and if the stores need more products. Mm -hmm. And besides that, I think they have um, an, an annual count to mm -hmm. know uh, to know how their inventory is. Hmm. Okay, okay, that might be annual, annual. Even though that might be a, like a long way. Okay, there you go. 
something else that you think uh, we can add, Edwin or Daisy? Uh, I think it depends on many factors. Uh -huh. For example, uh, the type of company, uh, whether mm -hmm. it is private or public. Private or public, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Depend, um, the type of product, it can be, it can be twice a, a year or once a year. Ah, okay. Um, I don't know, only, only that. Okay, okay, good. Actually, yeah, I mean, it, it might be depending on the company, right? Uh, also, and how big the company might be. Okay, great. So do you mention part of that, Carla and uh, uh, Kenya, about how often should a warehouse keep, you know, like account of their inventory? You remember? Mm, I think, yeah, I think that the best thing to do is like maybe do it like in a little, little often. For example, mm -hmm. Like it could be like at the end of a week or on weekends to make it like a little easier to do the camps. But it could also be done as you said, once a month. It depends on the company because for example, if they don't sell as much in a week, it mm -hmm. will be better to do it maybe once a month because mm -hmm. perhaps by then, like they will have enough content to do. But if not, maybe it could be like in a week or as you say, every day, <laughs> maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Okay, very good. Yeah, it all depends on, on how big the company might be, right? And how, uh, how much the products might be demanded, you know, right? Okay, great, guys. Thank you for... Uh, Helping us now. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna yes. For example, in the gas station, they they have to take how many inventory have of the gas. Okay, continue. Because the the rotation is very high. Mm, okay, that's a good point. Yes. In the in the gas station, they they have to refill a lot. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that a little once once times a day because they sell quickly the gas. And another factor is that the the gas is I don't know I don't know who do you say it's evapora. It evaporate. They evaporate, yes. Oh, okay. And, and they have to have a hard mm, control of mm -hmm. the, the kind of inventory. Yeah. That is an example that, that they have to be constantly the, the inventory. That no. the company. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and in this case, with those kind of businesses, can you not only the inventory, but also in managing the money, right? Because just imagine in a gas station, especially uh, the ones like Texaco, man, it's like thousands of cars every day, right? So just imagine the accounting for that at the end of the day. That is a lot of money going from there. Yes, money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly that's true that's true all right thank you for for adding that kenya that was a good example now guys let's jump into the conversation that we got in here ah more people are getting connected that's great so we got more people to practice it says in here guys steve and anna are trying to find out the location of two products they've received in their warehouse take turns and practice the conversation he says so we got a steve and we got anna he says steve it says here in the inventory listen up 
it says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks. That we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. But I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Do you have any idea where I could find them? All right, Anna says, 200 wooden planks, right? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Listen up. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer let me see if I can find any record here. Let me see if I can find any record here. Steve says, the order was from people who manufacture tables. The order was from people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China. Delivered from China a week ago. A week ago, but I can't find them either, but I can't find them either. It says, Anna, I see the problem. I see the problem. The 200 wo wooden boards we recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate and it seems the crate was placed, was placed, you see, in the ground dock. In the ground dock. All right, guys, from the conversation that you got there, do you have any question with the vocabulary that is there? Guys, any question with the vocabulary? Oh, everything is okay. Hey, I got one question. What is the meaning of the, uh, of the word boards? It's in the last part. Of... This one? Yeah, that this one. one. Yeah, that one. No, in this case, it says 200 wooden boards. Boards are like... Um, Pizarras. It, it makes reference also to tablas, right? That's why it says in here, the 200 wooden boards, all right, were recorded as 20 wooden planks. Planks means like tablones. Big, all right, tablas grandes, right? Any other word? Any other word, guys, that you might got troubles with? Okay, I guess no. Now, guys, we're gonna go over the practice of the short conversation for a couple of minutes. After practicing the conversation, guys, I want you to go down. And if you see, I got three questions over here. All right, the question number one says, what item is Steve looking for? All right, you might find it there in the conversation. Question two, who placed an order for wooden boards? And then the last one, why was Steve not able to find items in the warehouse? So we're gonna give an answer to those questions, right? I'm gonna go jump in on the breakout rooms while you'll be working. If you have any questions, just let me know in there, okay? 
Let me see. I got more people here. Jaime. Are you there, Jaime? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Perfect, sir. So if you're there, ah, Lorena is here as well. Okay, perfect. We got more people. So I am going to recreate the breakout rooms. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to practice. So who are going to be the first? Hello. Since Noemi is not me, it is not hidden. So any volunteer? It's just you and Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so Daisy, I will start. Okay. Uh, as a steel, okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can Wood, duck. Okay, we can switch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It say here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember <laughs> we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was, was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also, also asking for a create of an electronic device delivered from China uh, a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the ground dock. Okay. okay, we can do One the more, okay. next part. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, me first. Wait. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from the map. From the... Where records? as 20 wooden planks and it seemed the crate was placed in the wrong dock okay now with lorena maybe okay 
Hey, Lorena, who, who are you? Who are going to be you? Anna or Steve? Steve. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any rec record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also ask, asking for a credit of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can I can find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay. Now we can do the question. We can answer the question. Okay. The first question says, White item is Steven looking for. He is looking for uh, 200 wooden planks. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, the second who place an, or, an order for wooden boards. Boards. Um, maybe the manufacturer, I don't know. Uh, teacher, we already finished uh, the questions. We got the answers. Perfect, perfect. Okay, great. I'm gonna go and check another group, all right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Plus uh, 20 wooden planks. Mm -hmm. yes, it was uh, recorded as 20 wooden. Because uh, there are 20 wooden clubs. Oh, they were. They were. Mm -hmm. Yes. They were recorded as 20 wooden plank. Twenty wooden plank. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can practice again if you want the conversation. Okay. Okay. I can be Anna now. In the warehouse. And that is because the creative was placed in the ground dock. I don't know. Uh, but it says that the 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plants. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, so, ah, uh, yeah. It was placed in the ground dock. Yes. Okay. They have a mistake. They make a mistake with the, with the product. Pay in a wrong dot. Yes. Okay. I think we'll finish. All right, you're done then? 
Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Nice, nice. Let's go back to the main section then. Okay. Okay. Nice. God is off. Ah, yeah. So everybody got back. All right. Let's start, guys. Where it is, where it is. Okay, great. Right, Edwin. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Uh, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yeah, I can listen to you. Okay, I will start. I, I was uh, working with uh, Daisy. Daisy, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so uh, it say, oh, well, it say here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks but I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. Um, the, order was, uh, the order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden birds were recorded as 20 wooden plants, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong book. Uh, okay, very good. Thank you, Daisy and Elwin. Now, let me see who's going to be the next one. Hi, Beth. Okay. Um, Christian. Uh, are you I can ready? Be the, yes, I can be the second one. Okay. I start. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for, the, for, for, for a create of electronic device delivered from China a week ago but I can't find them eight, eight there. Yeah. I see Either. the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the ground dock. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, uh, Jaime and Christian. Now, the last participation. All right, in this case, it's you guys were three. So let me see, it was Kenya, Carla, and Lorena, right? Good. So Kenya, I want you to practice with Carla. Then when you finish, Carla will practice with uh, um, Lorena. Okay. And then Lorena will end up and practice with uh, you, Kenya, okay? It will be like a circle. So Kenya, you can start with Carla. Okay. Okay. It says here in the inventory, inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? 
I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any report here. The other was from the people who make ma manufacturing tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, very good. Now, Carla, me a Lorena. In this case, Carla, be still. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got uh, an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can uh, find in recorder here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seemed the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Excellent. Now, let's finish this cycle. Now, Lorena, act like Steven and Kenya will do Anna. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could improve in them? 200 wood plants. I remember we got an order for a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who, who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also, is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were records as 20 wooden planks, and it seemed the crate was placed in the ground dock. Okay, great. Thank you, Kenya, Lorena, and Carla. All right, excellent. Okay, guys, now let's jump into the questions. All right, it says discuss the answers to the questions below. Great. Now we got question number one. And uh, Jaime, help me out reading the question number one, please. Um, what items is Steve looking for? Good. Yeah. What item is Steve looking for in this case, guys? The question is in general, guys. Two hundred wooden planks. Two hundred wooden planks. And electronic device. Exactly right. Very good. So the two hundred wooden planks and the crate, right, of electronic devices. Okay, nice. Now, question number two, Daisy, help me out reading, please. Who places, who played an order for wooden boards? Okay, who placed an order for wooden boards? The people who manufacture tables. Okay, very good, yeah. That's what it is. Thank you, Daisy. The people who manufactured tables, right? That's what it says over here, right? All right, perfect. Now, the last question, Christian, read it. 
why was Steve not able to find the item, items in the warehouse? Aha, uh -huh. why not? Guys? Because, uh -huh. because they were recorded as 20 good plants. Okay, yeah, I mean, they mix right the names of, in that case of the products. Okay, very good. Basically, because of that, right? Because 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plaques. That was the reason why. Now, guys, we're going to be talking a little bit about grammar. And we're going to be talking about something called suffixes. Have you ever heard that word before, guys? Suffix, a suffix. Or suffixes in plural, this one. A suffix basically, all right, we got a short definition over here. It says a suffix, uh, let me see, Lorena, help me already. So, a suffix, suffix is a letter of group of letter at the end of the word which makes a new word. The new word is most often a different word category from the original word. Okay, thank you, thank you. What is a suffix? Listen, it's a letter or a group of letters added at the end. Listen, not at the beginning, at the end of a word which makes a new word, right? The new word is most often a different word category from the original word. That's what it says, right? We completely uh, made a change in there, right? When we add a suffix to a noun, like in the case of the ones that we got over here, it says noun suffixes can make, or in that case, noun suffixes make a verb into a noun. So check out these options that we got over here, guys. It says add E R I E R O R to the ending. Carla, continue reading. Of a verb to make a noun. In this case, the nouns are the names we use to designate people's occupation or labor. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. We got in here. Check this out, guys. We got a series of verbs and we got some nouns in here. And if you see here, you got the word manufacturer. What is manufacturer, guys? What is manufacturer? The company that makes products. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, nice. Okay, manufacture is basically what? The verb, right? Yes, that okay. relies the product. Exactly. Absolutely. All right. Okay, very good. And now take a look at that, guys. So by adding the suffix er, or in this case, only the r, you change from the verb to the noun. And now is not an action, it becomes the person who makes the action. What is a manufacturer? What is a manufacturer, Grace? Fabricante. Exactly, right? Now it becomes in the person, right? Manufacturer, fabricar. Manufacturer, fabricante, right? There you go. Now, the next verb, guys, that we got in here, supply. What is supply? Guys, son verbos que hemos estado viendo. What is supply? Proveer. Exactly, right? Okay. It means proveer. Exactly. Thank you, Noemi. So, check this out, guys. In situations, I'm going to explain this. In situaciones como esta, if you see the verb finishes in Y, but before Y, you got a consonant. The consonant is the letter L, right? 
So in situations like that, guys, what you do is eliminate Y and add ER. In this case, IER. And now you got from supply, you got supplier. And what is a supplier? Now, supplier. Exactly. Now, supplier is the person, is proveedor, right? Excellent. Managed as another word. What is managed? Administrar. Exactly, right? Basically, to lead a, a department or a company, all right, on the right direction. Okay, manage is the verb. How to make this verb into a noun? Ah, just by adding er. Oh, only the r. So you see, now it becomes in the manager. Manager. All right, and what is the manager? The person, right? In that case, el gerente. There you go. Now, retail. What is a retail? Well, what is retail, people? That's the verb. Do you remember from, from, from week one? Yes, the action, the sell a little of inventory. Okay. All right. Very good. Not yeah. in, in big quantities. In this, in this case, exactly right. You're talking about something uh, small, right? A, a, a people or a company or a person who sells products in very low quantities. Okay. Now, from retail, we got the word retailer. So now, what is a retailer, guys? Guys, what is a retailer? Detallista. The person, right? Exactly. El minorista. Or detallista. Exactly. Good. So we got wholesale. What is wholesale? That bird, we were discussing that bird then the, the first week, four weeks ago. What is a wholesale? Como mayorista, algo así. <laughs> uh, but, but in that case, the bird, the bird. Mental, por mayoreo. Hmm? Mayoreo. All right, in a somehow, all right. Vender for mayoreo, all right, that's a wholesale. And wholesaler is the person, what you were saying, Daisy. Mayorista. Mayorista. Right. Uh -huh. Here is the person. Right. Uh -huh. And sell, what is sell? Vender. Exactly. So now, just by adding ER, you become sell in seller. What is a seller? Vendedor. Exactly, right? Now you got the person over there. Okay, very good, guys. So this is the way choose how suffixes work, guys. Okay. For example, and we got uh, like this, we got many, many, many options that we can set up. For example, you got the word drive. What is drive, guys? Like I drive a car. What is that? Driver. And you see, you got drive and just by adding R, now it becomes in the person, driver, conductor. So you see, only by adding the suffix ER, or in this case, R. So you see, so in that case, this is like the way guys. Like make, maker. So you see, in this case, this is like the way how we create 
or we changed a verb into a noun just by adding a suffix. All right, guys, do you understand how this process works or how suffixes work? Any question, guys, until here? Tenemos alguna pregunta? No? Okay, great, great. Guys, this is for all of the ones that are connected in here. Incluyendo los dos verbos que tengo acá con los suffixes. Quiero que me escojan dos. Un verbo y un noun. One verb and one noun. Dos. Y quiero que me hagan un ejemplo usando el verbo y usando el nombre. All right? So I need to check on you guys if you have understood this. For example, if you use the word manufacturer, that's the verb, right? Include manufacturer. Create two sentences. One using the verb and the other one using the noun. So two sentences for one category. Okay, one using the verb and the other one using the noun. And uh, when you finish both sentences, let me know, guys. All right, and we're gonna read what you have. I just want to know if you have understood this part. Let me know when you have already finished your examples. Just let me know when it's done. Let me know once you finish, guys, or if you have any any kind of question. Let me know once you finish, guys. Uh, I finish. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna wait for your classmates and then you're gonna read what you got, okay? Okay. Nice. Good evening, teacher. Just two uh, verb and two now. No, 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 no. Just, just only one. Or just more. One verb from here okay. and, one, and the same verb from, uh, I mean, and the same noun from the verb and create ah, okay. Okay. sentence thank for each. Yes, thank Perfect. you. Perfect.
Let me know guys when you're finished. Finished. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. Gonna wait for the rest. I finished. Perfect, Edwin. Thank you. All right, so I guess the rest is just about to finish. So let's start. And I'm going to start with you, Christian, since you were the first one. Okay. Uh, my company sells boots, boots on Vidri and Epa. Sells? Sells boots. Botas? Ah, boots. Okay, good. Uh huh. And the second sentence is, is we send sellers around the country. <laughs> okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me see, Edwin. Okay. Hey. I choose the the word cell and less than Apple products. Mm -hmm. That is the first one and the second one is the seller didn't reach his goal this week. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, good. Thank you, Carla. Okay, I I chose the same verb. Uh, it's the verb. You, you three, come on. There were a lot of options and you chose the same. But anyway, that's it was okay. easier. Okay, <clears throat> Mario sells everything in his store at low prices. Uh huh. And the seller didn't want to serve me in the morning. Okay. Okay, Carla. Thank you. Thank you. Well, has finished, guys. Somebody else. Okay, Lorena. Let's go. Um, the seller that I asked. Answer me well. <laughs> I'm going to sell my car. <laughs> Thank you, Lorena. Come on, qué coincidencia. Los cuatro en los cel. Okay, anyway. Thank you, Lorena. Who gives more examples using cell, guys? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Somebody else has already finished. Me, teacher. Okay. I do sell. I do sell too, but I I take I deal uh, for examples and I use another okay. <laughs> there and another noun. Okay, read them, okay. read them aloud. Uh, she okay, she drives very fast. Uh -huh. The driver is she. The driver is she. Is 
her. Her. Instead of ah, she, okay. writes her. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you to you. Somebody else? Sure. Okay, Jaime. Other example about the nouns. <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. I, I have other example. And the first one is the manager is in the company and he checks the production. Mm. And the next one is the company distributed the product in the supermarket. Mm. Okay. Okay, there you go. Uh, so you got this year. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Jaime. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Daisy. Teacher, how how says distribute distribute distribute? Okay. Distribute. Distribute. Ah, okay. Distribute. But the distribute. I will distribute all the classes immediately. Immediately, okay. Immediately. Uh, the distributor of distributor? plastic chair uh -huh. <laughs> of plastic chair is coming now. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Lord. I mean, thank you, Daisy. Nice, nice, nice. Who else? As I can see, it, I just got two more people. I got Kenya and I got Noemi. Kenya, red first and then Noemi. Okay. I drive my car all day to my home. And then another one is I work, I work like a driver in Uber. In Uber. Ah, okay, very good. Is Uber working in San Salvador, guys, in, in the central area? That's a random question. Yes or no? Yes. What's the question? I ah, mean, if, if 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 it is normal in the central area to find Ubers, I work uh, around the yes. Ah, okay, okay. Interesting. If situation goes worse, I will be working as you for some week. And sad guy, <laughs> good guys. All right. Uh no, me. It's gonna end. And um, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I need to buy uh, some some products for supply in my office. Mm -hmm. um, and another um, the supplier the suppliers sell me the products in the high cost. In a high cost. Okay, okay, very good. There you go, thank you, Noemi. All right, and I think it was the last one. Let me see, everybody has already, yeah, everybody has already participated. Thank you, guys, thank you. Now, guys, let's continue, let's go down. Now, this is easy for you guys. I want you to do this individually, okay? Right now, it says, circle the correct word, check answers with a classmate. Basically, what you're gonna do is just to select if it is manage or manager here, distributor or distributor, uh, manufacturer or manufacturer, write the bold letters. Okay, let's go. Let me know once you finish. Don't 
done. Perfect, perfect. Let me know, guys, when the rest finished. I'm done. Okay, thank you, Jaime. Very good. Finish. Excellent, Lorena. Thank you. Somebody else? Finished. Thank you, Carla. Okay, I guess most of you have already finished, right? Good. Elwin, can you please read number one, Mr. Yeah, sure. Uh, with the right answer. Yes. Okay. The employees want, I'm sorry, the employees want the manage to organize the inventory. Sorry, sorry. Read again. The employees want the manager to organize the, organize the inventory. You got the word manager here. No, manage. Ah, manage? Yes. Do you guys agree with Elgwin? No. <laughs> no. Edwin, in this case, yeah, mister, it's Ron. It's the word manager. Manager. Oh, okay. The employees want the manager to organize the inventory. Los empleados quieren que el gerente organice el inventario. Right. There you go. Okay. I All right. It. I it. it was yeah, on okay. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Good. Choose the next, the next participant, Edwin. I'm gonna do it that way. To read number two. Let me see, uh, Carla. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, they distribute the products all around the country. The M, I mean, they distribute, right? Because in that case, we need a verb, not distributor, right? They distribute the products all around the country. Excellent, thank you, Carla. Carla, help me out choosing the next person to participate, please. Okay. Uh, Estela? Great, Estela. Read number three, Estela. Okay. How do you pronounce accuracy? Ah, uh, where, where is that? Number four? No. No, number three. Ah, okay. Inventory counts provide research to the manufacturers. Ah, okay, great. Provide reassurance to the manufacturer, right? Okay, great, thank you. Estela, so you got inventory accounts provide resources to the manufacturer or manufacturers. What was it? Sorry. Manufacturers. Manufacturers, the people, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay. Teacher, thank how you. do you pronounce accuracy? Accuracy. Accuracy. Thank yes, you. good. Help me in choosing the next person to read that one. Um, no. In Kenya? Okay, Kenya. Okay. 
The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a retail okay. store. Okay. Retail. The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a retailer store. Retail store. That's what you got. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, do you agree with her? It's just retailers? I say retail. Ah, retail. Okay. Yes. Do you guys agree with her? Mm, no. No. I'm not agree. Retailers. I agree. I agree. I agree. I mean, I love this. How is this agree and how is agree? Okay. Listen up, guys. The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a retail store. Why is it a retail store? Because in here, guys, listen. You might think, ah, but a retailer is the person. But in here, in this case, it is not talking about the person. It's talking about what? Retail store. Tienda to the place. To the retail store. Right? So in this case, here, this, this one that apparently is the verb, no, it's not even acting like the verb. It's acting like a noun. Pero ya un nombre compuesto, retailer store, right? So in that case, the correct one is retail, not retailers, right? Okay, good. Number five, uh, Kenya, help me. I'm choosing number the the the, the person for number five. Okay, I don't know. Maybe Daniel. Uh, Daniel is not in here. So you can choose whether uh, Noemi. Lorena. Lorena. Okay, Lorena. Thank you. Thank you. Go, Lorena. Um, the supplier needs us to keep track of now on how much product is left. Is left. The supplier. That's what you chose. Right, Lorena? Supplier? Yes, yeah, supplier. Do you guys agree with her? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, in this case, it's the supplier, right? The person. Very good, Lorena. Thank you. Now, guys. Let's go in into one of the last activities that we're gonna be doing. Listen up what we're gonna be doing in here, guys. Because this one, yeah, definitely I'm gonna send you to work in pairs. It says pair work, number the step for a simple counting program. Listen, number the step for a simple counting program. And then you compare the answers with a pair, it says. You got number one in here. What you're gonna do, guys, is just to select which is the following step right after number one, according to you and according to your classmate, okay? The first step in here says, select 200 items, parts, products, finished goods from your inventory, for week one. So you got number one over here. Then in here you got keep track of daily accuracy, variance and percentage. Divide items into, uh, uh, into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. So what is the idea here, guys? I want you with your pair read all this, and I want you to choose the following steps to follow right after number one, okay? 
from number one until number seven. Okay, that's what you're gonna do here. Just to select here, the sequence. And then you're gonna explain to me that sequence, guys. Okay, we're gonna come back in here and you're gonna tell me why did you choose that sequence. All right, so that's going to be part of the last activity that we're gonna be doing tonight. So, uh, aha, teacher. yes? Uh, I was uh, checking that the first uh, item was like a seven. What are you talking about? From the parentheses. Uh huh. Is that a seven or my eyes are? No, man, that's number one. <laughs> it is number one. Yeah, it is number wow. one. So it I start. One. Yeah, this one is number one. Okay. Now you're going to search for the number two, number three until number seven. Okay. But this one is number one. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good, guys. Let me check if I got it still. I am, and I have, I, I still have this, this. Let me see. I'm going to reformulate because we got more people in here. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to remake this. Okay, let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's gonna do that last part. Okay, I'll read one by one and so select what is first. Browse proper finish for the front your metaphor. The number two, I think, accurately count and record all items. Uh, because if the number one is selects 200 items and then put it come a record. <laughs> Try to follow up a sequence, okay? Try to follow up a sequence. Mm -hmm. Uh, or divider items? No, I think it's accurately count and record all items, like you say. And the next mm -hmm. one can be... Keep track. Divide items? Okay.
There you go, guys. Everything okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice, nice. Precisión, todos los Entonces, okay. after dividing, we can like record or uh, we just uh, count and record all the items, maybe. Okay. And, and maybe number four is the one that you said, I think. Keep track of data? Yeah, I think. Uh -huh. Because it says keep track of daily accuracy. And what, are, what, what, what do you think about number five can be localized cause of errors and correct inventory record? Yeah, I think. I think so. number five, yes. Okay. And number six can be select another 2,000 parts product finished goods from your inventory for week two. Number four. <laughs> Keep track of daily. Number four. I think. Number five. Select. Select another. <laughs> Your inventory from for week two. Yeah. And number six. Localize. Number seven. Okay, I don't know. I think or some correct inventory record or change keep checking until the currency accident ninety seven percent for minimum of two weeks. Hmm. And another, yes, and the number four can be mm. um, kept track of daily occurrence variance. Person, I don't know. Okay, I have number one select. 200 item parts pro finisher good from your inventory for week one. Number two, accurately count and record all items. Number three, divide items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday to Friday. And between, uh, and between, uh, oh, 
the or that uh, options. Okay. What do you want to? I can say? explain. Yeah. Uh, whatever, no problem. I'm going to try to explain. Okay, maybe you can mm. explain number one, two, and three. Okay. Okay, and then I go with four, five, six, and seven. Okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. We've finished. Ah, uh, you're done? Yes. yes. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Okay, great, great. Yeah. I'm just gonna go and check on another group if they have already finished. We're gonna go to the main section, okay? Okay. Nice. Uh, the divide items into count. It could be the second one. Uh, the number, the third can be keep track of daily accuracy variance percentages. This can be the, the third one, the number four. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry. sorry, sorry. I mean the second the second sentences. Yeah. I you think keep... it uh -huh. keep track. I, it can be the third one. The third one. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. I, I'm, I'm not a seller. No sé, I, I don't know. I don't know why, pero creo que acaba de quitar la buena. <laughs> Ajá, ya ven, ya ven. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that's number four. Number yeah, four? can be the if he's the number four. Okay. Number six. <laughs> no, no, no. If checking until I agree see for a minute of two weeks. No. Mm. I don't know. You want blank space? That is number three. But we don't know because anything work with cells. Uh, but I think <laughs> accurately account and record all items is like the final thing that I have to do. Not exactly. Mm. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky, right? Yes. All I can say, guys, let me see. All I can say is that you got two. Let me see. Yes. You got mm -hmm. from the seven, from the six, because number one is already done. From the six, you got four correct. And you got two that you you just need to switch them, and that's it. Think, think. Les doy dos minutos para que piensen, porque ya luego nos va. Un minuto para que piensen. Modifiquen dos nada más. Y los veo en la sala principal. Sí, solo van a mover dos y tienen cuatro. Ah. Bueno, no andábamos tan perdidos. <risa> Yo igual me siento perdido. No. Aún, aún con solo dos me estoy perdido. En las seis y las siete tengo dudas. Ahí cambiamos esas dos nada más. Ok. 
I agree. Sí. Sí. <risa> See you in the main section, guys, ¿ok? Bueno, ya, ya la regamos, ya, ya lo escuché. <risa> I didn't say okay. anything, I didn't say anything. See you there, guys. <risa>
I agree. You agree, Lorena? Who else agree with uh, uh, they both? I agree. Noemi? You too, Noemi? Sorry, guys, but no, it's not that one. It is not that one. Number right. two. And here it's number two. Yes. And here is number two, guys. Okay. After having 200 items, what you do is generally divide them, right? Daily accuracy. Okay. I mean, it divide the items from uh, Tuesday to Friday, all right, 50 until getting like 200. Good. Christian, help me out reading the next one, please. Select another uh, 200 part, parts, product, finish, mm -hmm. finish, mm -hmm. goods from your inventory for week two. Okay. Great. According to you and your classmates, what number is that? Um, <laughs> number five, I guess. Number five. Yeah. Yes. Do you guys agree with Christian? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Who else? Christian's classmates? ¿Qué pasó con los compañeros? I have number six, uh, but yes, I don't know. Yes, <laughs> I am here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Both, both say yes. And Kenya says number six. Christian. But I don't know because I have wrong the, the previously. Christian. <laughs> Teacher. I don't know nothing about this. Come on, Christian. You did, you and your classmates did a final change and you couldn't keep it. Sorry, Christian. You're, <laughs> you're not correct. Here is number six. <laughs> Okay, so Kenya is correct. In this case, this is number six. Okay, great. Thank you, by the way. Now, Carla, read the next one, Carla. Okay. Localize cause of errors and correct inventory record. Good, Carla. What number is that, Carla? We have it as number five. Oh, do you guys agree with Carla? I'm not agree. You don't agree? I have number five in that too. <laughs> you got number five in that one? Lorena, what do you think, Lorena? I have five. In that one. We got five in that one. Christian, why don't you agree, Christian? Uh, um, because I have seven in this. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I have seven in this sentence. But I didn't see seven in the peak in, in the screen that you were sharing, guys. Oh well, I, I which we changed it at the end, so I shouldn't have said anything to you guys. <laughs> Christian, you, <laughs> you mixed up the, the letters, Christian, and, and the numbers in here, guys, is number five. That's correct. That's the correct one. Thank you, Carla. Now, Jaime, help me out, Jaime, with the next one. Okay. A cruel uh, sorry. <laughs> accurately accurate and accurately accurately 
hunt and record all items. Ah, okay. Which With, number do you think, Jaime, it goes there? Um, in this case, would my classmate, we think is number three. Number three? Yes. Do you guys agree with him? <laughs> yes, with the chains. That is the number three for me too. I agree. Yes, guys. It's number three. That's number three. Okay, so the last one, Noemi. The number seven kept checking until a currency exceeds ninety seven percent for minimum of two weeks. All right, exceeds. Okay, the ninety seven percent. Okay, and here it's number seven. There you go. That was the most difficult, right? <laughs> Okay, great. There you go, guys. So that's the way how it is It is done this one. Okay, very good. Very good. So you were very, very, very close from perfect in this, in this evaluation. All right, guys, I'm going to start sharing this. And basically, we are just missing one more class, guys, and we have basically finished the module, okay? So I expect everybody to be on Monday and don't be as a listener guys I, I expect right to have very few listeners or maybe not listeners on Monday since it's the last day right uh you know like I would like more people to be participating in the last class uh besides that guys remember if you have a chance on weekends to complete the final exam to complete until the homework 25, I will really appreciate that, guys. So on Monday, you will be free of getting, you know, like to do homework and everything. So if you can go and, and be up to date on this coming weekend, it will be more than perfect. All right. So I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list, guys, and that will be everything for tonight. Okay. So give me a second. Uh, Carmen Eugenia, all right, so she was there. Cristian Alejandro. Present. Nice. Uh, Daniel Arquimides. Present. Okay, good. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Elwin Alexander. No, he, he didn't get connected. Elwin Vladimir. Present. Nice. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Good. good. All right. Good night. Fatima Adriana. Not from Fatima. Fatima Lourdes. Nah, I think she left. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. Nice. Good night. Good night. Carla Lisset. Here, teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Kenya Cecilia. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Manuel Antonio didn't show up. Maria Gabriela didn't show up. Mary, it's no longer continuing. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, great. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present, teacher. Okay, great. It was a pleasure to have you here in another video conference, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and see you on Monday in the last video conference, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night, see you. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday. All right, so perfect. We have finished one more week. So one class, one more class is missing out of the 25 from the module, right? So in tonight, what we were doing, it was just discussing, okay, about how to create a suffix, right? Padding or, or starting from a verb and becoming a verb into a noun. 
And we also were discussing about the design of proposal to implement a cycle count program. So the students were discussing a couple of questions, besides that a conversation and a couple of questions related to that conversation. And the last exercise, it was about how to organize a series of steps for a simple counting program, right? So that is going to be everything for tonight, right? See you in the last video conference the following week or next week. Bye-bye.